We're live. All right, so I picked this up yesterday. Um, this was one lot. This was a second lot. I think I paid 55 for this one, and I paid around maybe a little bit less for this one. Um, 38 special, 357 and 410. This was a mixed lot, and this was like uh, a different lot. So a lot of these, um, they are modern production, so they'll go into my modern production stash. Um, that's a full box. These wolves are full boxes, the slugs. So you get about a buck a piece on slugs. Average about five bucks a box. So I think I did all right, because I didn't, I just included these box, you know, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. Yeah, so. 50, 55, 60, 65, 70 plus half box. Um, the reason I bought this is I really like this Winchester Western box. It's in all right shape. Uh, it's not too beat up, but the duck and pheasant load, I really like the, the birds on here. This is a full box, so that will go in my collect. Uh, this was kind of curious, I've never seen this 50 this browning 50 power um it's got a copyright 72 so i'm guessing this is from these 70s there's what one of the shells looks like 50 power it's got a black shell ounce and a quarter um don't know a whole lot about them it's a full box um you know so like i counted them off just five bucks a box because these are probably 70s or 80s. Same thing with these two federal boxes. Uh, I don't, I'm trying to think what federal's new boxes, but these Kents and these Nitro Steels, these are fairly modern production. This is modern production stuff. There were a couple uh, bonus slugs. These are what, federal, Magnum, Shock, federal, these are current production federal couple sabo copper slugs um so that stuff goes into the shootable box i need to get some smaller tins to separate um some of that out all these are shootable i got a bunch uh this slugger isn't a full box probably just throw the Remington slugs in there so it's got two spaces I think these are all rifled slugs besides the two sabo slugs I don't know if you pronounce it sabo or saba sabois probably it's probably a French word dirty French I'm kidding I don't have anything against French people but uh, we'll get those in here this slug. Deep penetrator rifled slug. That's true ball. But yeah. I mean, I definitely got some wolf slug. I got some more Sabbath slugs in there. But yeah, that'll go in my my shoot. Like, I got a lot of slugs. And a lot of buckshot. I mean, that's what you'll use uh, for tactical purposes. You'd be using something of that nature. Slugs are buck. You really wouldn't use any shot. Uh, the steel. These are all going to be hunting loads. Waterproof. I haven't even checked these. These are like brand new boxes. I'm guessing the steel is probably going to be probably about 10 bucks a box. Um, so anytime you can pick up a box of shells for under 5 bucks, you're doing good. And if they're all full... I wasn't there. I think this one was one. This one's missing a shell out of the three inch Magnum. Um, I'm unsure. I'll probably put these in my collectible for right now and look into it. But see, sometimes when you do boxes like this, they get mixed. So this has got some Federal 4 shot in it. And this has more of the Browning. This is Browning 50 power 4 shot. Um, and I don't know if people do this, I mean I do this, but I don't know if this is done by 
the auction house or not. Like they just have a partial box and they throw the rest of these in. Which these are waterproof crimps. These browning four ounce. I don't know if that's current or not. Duck and pheasant load. See, that's a Western Winchester. Like that's worth setting aside for the collectible. This is duck and pheasant federal four. So these are probably the shells that came in the box. And looks like it's all rest of it's gonna be the browning. Which I'll set it aside until I figure out more about <coughs> the ammo. I need to get some system going for uh, partial boxes or mixed boxes. Because sometimes, like, like, this is half a box or more. If you can find the other box partial and then add them together. And even like this box that's missing one shell. I don't think that's a huge detractor. I mean, I guess you have to find one shell. The corner is a little ripped, so like these two boxes aren't in the greatest of condition. But I did get one Western duck and pheasant load. Some nice printing on it. I mean, some of them, some people collect individual shells. I'm more for boxes. Um, oh. This is going to be a mixed box too, huh? So this is going to be a mixed... No, this isn't... Oh, no, no, this is BB. It's not a full box, it's missing... A couple rounds, like three or four rounds. Three rounds, maybe. Maybe four. So... I mean, this is kind of new enough, fringe enough, like... This box is nice condition for steel shot, but I don't know when they mandated steel shot be used. Um, but yeah, that's not that I really shoot. I, I, it's hard. It's hard to really say. Like these all go in my shooting. The Kent. I'm gonna assume the Kent fast steel. This is gonna be more expensive stuff. Uh, to buy I didn't look up what Kent is but uh, pretty nice nice condition gonna imagine they're gonna be anywhere like seven to fifteen dollars a box oh, what is this 12 gauge two shot steel waterfall so that's that one's not full one full. That one's full. I looked at that one's full. Two Kent boxes are full. This one is partial. I mean, someone shot what? Ten shells out of here. So those will go in, I got some dead coyote in there and stuff. So we'll get in the other box, steel hunting rounds, what are those, 20 gauge slugs. I should ask my friend, she's picking up her dad's gun. Um, I know, I'm pretty sure she shoots 20 gauge, it's a pretty, pretty old sticker you can gauge but uh can't peel it off yet upland so that's gonna be like this upland box that i got in one of the other lots and the duck and pheasant are gonna be about the same age this one just says western but this says winchester western so this one's probably a little a little younger than this box guys like you're gonna shoot it anyways right like yeah I am 
Sure. I do keep it in waterproof, so I mean it would be shootable condition, I, I suppose. If I ever really got desperate, I could shoot it. Put those in here. go through the yellow box so this is 357 there's some 38s which these are lead thirty eight special plus P uh, these two CCI's because I did open this box up and this is all this has got to be like two boxes of CCI 38 special I'll get that with my rest of my 38 special ammo um, 38 special plus P this is just regular 38 special semi jacketed wad cutter this is again semi jacketed wad cutter that's 357 that's uh, S and W maybe this is Swiss and what's an ammo RP, so that stuff's different. RP and Smith and Wesson, and these are just uh, I don't even know what RP is. Looking at how deep the bullets are set, hard to tell. Nickel plated stuff. These are definitely new because I don't really want to buy other people's factory reloaded. And say load it into my 686 sets an $800 gun and have it go kaboom. I don't want any gun to go kaboom while I'm shooting it. 257, 38. Got a couple boxes for for that stuff. Here's another partial box. 138 grain Yogi. This is new stuff. See when boxes get opened a lot, they get this. Like this is a new box, but it's been opened a lot and handled a lot. Like this is a full. Yeah, that's what they make. Just I've seen this stuff. I've shot this stuff. 130 grain. Like about 10 bucks a box. Uh, probably about 10 bucks in the 357 ammo for sure. Some of the other stuff, I'm just like, eh. And this stuff is a little bit cheaper, probably about 15, so you're looking at about 25, you know, I may be looking about 45. So I pretty much got this ammo for what I paid for it, maybe another 10 bucks for all the rest of the ammo. Like this has a current price tag, uh, 14, this is a partial box, open up all the partial boxes. This is Remington, four shot, eight and a half. I have, this is all my other stuff that's just like randos. Some Super X, one of the Upland shells. Um, here's a nice paper shell. It's a little crimped in in this binder and it's starting to disintegrate. But that's a, that's a clean bore shell, Remington, paper. I think paper are obviously older. A little bit more aged. This is gonna be some four shot Remington stuff. This is some plastic Winchester Super X. These are Super X shells. Uh, I think those are Magnum because I think these are shorter. What? A six shot. A little in there. Some federal high power. So this is a box, I think it's like one generation over current manufacturer, and here we go. So, like here's, oh well, you gotta open them. I don't really, like I said, I, I was not able to make it to this auction in person, when I'm trying to. But I think these are 410, two and a half, 
these are actually from this box. Or if not from this box, they match this box. And sometimes if you don't stack them, this box is either five short, it's five short. It's new current production, but I'm just gonna start sorting out. Uh, like I said, this is like one generation ago. I'm not. I'm weird because I really wasn't starting collectible boxes, but I kept them, and now I start buying boxes that I want to keep in my collection. Eventually, want to display. At least have a paper card crimped over and not like crimped. So I think the Super X is older than the Winchester Western. And the Western Upland would be a little bit, would probably be in between the Super X and like this one that says Upland. Like that would be in between the Super X and the Winchester Western. And like these are current. I'm going to say current production because they're like close enough to not really matter that much to me except the shootability per round and that's a nice little that's a super x hs i do want to keep the paper one this paper shell i would call it damaged because Kind of see the the shot is rubbed against stuff. That's fine. What are these rifled slugs? But these are about five bucks a box. That one's full, not open. This one's full. Uh, this one feels like there might be no. Uh, maybe there's only four in here. Quarter ounce slug. No, oh, so this is. Maybe this is the stuff. This is like current stuff. This is one of the current boxes, or at least it's semi-current. I'm not a super expert on this stuff. So like this one's gonna tell me that this is like new like this. Pull that out of there. shot some of this stuff this trap this is a full box of seven and a half trap loads traded the 410 a nice box high brass game loads six shot oh hs means high strength tall see side panel for reloading information New and improved and designed for reloading. That 
Fox is one short. Double A. This is older, but this is still a current box they make. Four ten. Nine shot. The double A. I like the double A twelve gauge trap loads. For using for trap, they got a little more velocity. Yeah, really bid on that for 357, 38 special ammo. Only surprise one paper shell in there. Uh, express long range, four shot. So that's hunting ammo. Uh, some couple of trap ammos. I guess high brass game load if you're shooting smaller birds. And then some 410 slugs. I don't even have a 410. I want to get like an over under 410, like a 22 410. For the, for the rifle 410. Or maybe a 30 30 410 or something like that. That's pretty cool. Express long range. I actually have a box of that. That's, is it four shot, six shot? Something like that. Here's a box of current double A sporting clay shot. I don't even know what that says. A, a shot show. It could both be current. It's a little Winchester guy on there. So, ammo is sorted out. Throw that box in there. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I did buy one more thing at the auction. I put it in. I ended up bidding until I was winning and ended up with this. And I was curious because they said, and I really couldn't see down the barrel. And I was thinking it was a blank firing 1911, which I was thinking could be converted to a 22, which this one, I paid 60 bucks for this one. Um, it's rough. Um, there are, let me pull the trigger on that. And it holds that back when the trigger's back. I don't know if safety does not work. So, yeah. Uh, that kind of that. Other than just like a wall looker. Some weird things. Like there's just a piece of spring steel that pushes the mag. Magazine might actually be a decent magazine. But, yeah. That's that. Wasted my money on that. See, if I would have been there, I wouldn't have bid on that or, like, looked at that. I would have put something on something else, which, uh, I need to stop doing that. But thanks for watching, everybody. I, uh, may have another video up soon. I, I got a different gun today. I traded in my SIG XI, so we'll see what that will be, uh, maybe with an Art of the Trade video tonight. Thanks for watching.